Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. Oh my God, no. What would you like to do? I'd like to have a little talk. What the? Give me what the? Give me. David! David! Hey, hey, hey! Chill! From Cheaters surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh, Jesus. I asked her about him, and she said nothing was going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Hang me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get up, Get up. Get up. Get up. Go, go with him. I love you. I'm so sorry. Real reality television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Hello, I'm Joey Greco. Thank you for tuning in to another installment of Cheaters. In this case, meet David Hendrick, a studious young man experiencing mixed emotions about being away from his girlfriend after his transfer to another college. Unable to keep tabs on his girl's activities, David brings in cheaters to ease his concern. David Hendrick, age 21, a worried student whose girlfriend may be taking advantage of his time away at another school. I met Megan about two years ago uh, through a mutual friend. And as soon as I saw her, she just gave you that feeling on the inside. I was at a loss of words. You know, I couldn't stop smiling. I, I didn't know how to act around her. Unfortunately, I had to transfer schools, so uh, now we're not, we don't see each other on a regular basis. And uh, since that happened, she's just started to act not as, not like she used to. She, she's a lot more like ready, like when I call her, for instance, she'll want to get off the phone quickly like she's not always excited to hear from me it just makes me worry like I'll ask her I'll be like is am I doing something wrong or you know like is it me is there something wrong with do you not like something that's going on in the relationship and she says you know she's like no I love you everything's great there's no problems there but I know there is something going on because it's not the same Megan if Megan was cheating on me I would be destroyed. My, my whole life would be changed, you know, it would be flipped upside down. I, would, I wouldn't know who to trust anymore, you know. I, Megan, I'd trust her with anything I trust her with my life, but I would just be devastated. You know, like when I look at my future, I see her by my side, you know. I wanna, I wanna marry this girl. She's. She's my girl. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Megan Wills, age 21. A student who may be building a passionate rapport with her boyfriend's best pal. Investigation day six. Cheaters investigators ID suspect Megan Wills after her class lets out for the day. She heads down the sidewalk and is surprised by an unknown man hiding in the bushes. After close scrutiny, inspectors discover that the young man is none other than David's good friend, Josh Lovejack. The two walk hand in hand to her dorm room, which is just around the corner and the couple is not seen for a good hour or so. Finally, Lovejack comes out of the dorm room, chewing gum and looking quite gratified. Investigation day eight. Cheaters agents remain inconspicuous outside suspect Will's classroom. The dejected suspect slowly descends the stairs and goes straight into the muscular arms of her personal bodyguard. She appears to be in great need of a hug as she holds on to him, reluctant to let go. 
Suspect Wills then takes a piece of paper from her backpack and thrashes it about as if upset by its contents. Lovejack grabs the paper, crumples it up, and shoots for two. The couple depart the vicinity, which allows Cheater's PIs to take a peek at the contents of the mysterious sheet of paper. The paper reveals a failing score on an important test. Within minutes, the two get into his SUV and are off to an unknown destination. She instructs Lovejack to go to the nearest liquor store to buy some shinny. Stiffing people seems to be the suspect's proven talent, as confirmed in a recorded phone call. Investigation Day 11. On this day of investigation, Cheater's inspectors follow companion Lovejack down the road to David's place of residence, where he meets his good buddy and suspect Wills. The three make their way to Lovejack's SUV, and they end up at a movie theater. About an hour later, suspect Wills and companion Lovejack are observed in the theater lobby, getting hot and heavy, while David is nowhere to be seen. Cheater's investigators don't allow David to be deceived for another minute. Cheaters closes the investigation to set up an important meeting with the complainant. Coming up, the confrontation. Now that there's no second guessing what truly belies this relationship, Cheaters outlines the specifics for David in a specially prepared report. Hopeful of resolving the matter quickly and efficiently, David steps forward to put an end to any and all of Will's transgressions. David, thanks for meeting us on short notice. We're here tonight because our detectives have some information they wanted you to see. OK. Are you ready to take a look at some of that now? Let's do it. On this day of the investigation, guy jumps out from the bushes. And do you recognize that guy? Yeah, okay. my best friend. They embrace, and they walk hand in hand to her dorm room. He goes inside for about an hour. Now, obviously, we couldn't tell what was going on in that room. On this day of investigation, we're again at the school. We see your girlfriend come out. Your best friend takes something from her and just tosses it aside. The detective was able to ascertain at this point that that was obviously a test that she hadn't done very well on. They get into his truck and are followed to a liquor store. The investigation continued to this day when you came in from out of town. Yeah, went to a movie. You can see a peck on the cheek. She goes back out to the car. Did she forget something? Her phone or something. Not on her I didn't even see. think anything of it. She couldn't wait to give him a kiss. Oh, my God. No. David, we do know where they are, and they're around the corner at a pizzeria. What would you like to do? I'd like to have a little talk, both of them. OK, let's go over here. When I went off, when I went off to school, I was just like, you know, like, hey, man, look after my girl. You know, someone, have someone there for her. Has Megan said anything? When I talked to her, make references, oh, he's, he's a little ladies' man, da, 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 just that kind of stuff. No. <sighs> Does it make you wonder how long it's been going on? Yeah. We're right around the corner. I like to know. OK, I see the restaurant. We're on our way right now. What the f man? David. What the f here? What the f no. No, no, man. About the no, no, God, God, to me. No. God. We're just eating, eating dinner. Who the f are these people? Get the f off me. Get the f off me. David. Oh. Man, Stop. Stop. Ow. Get the f off me. Baby. 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 
Hey, 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 hey. Chill. Look at me. I told you to look out for her. I didn't tell you to. Stop. We know what you've been doing with this girlfriend. We have it on videotape. What is up with you? Who are these people? What are you doing? Why, are here? Why the f are you doing? This? Why are these people watching me? I'm having dinner. Yeah. He I cared see. about her. I've been looking oh, out for her. I've done nothing you. wrong. Whoa, and that's man. why you kiss her? Yes. What happened at the movie theater? We hung out. Nothing. You were there. When, when you went to the bathroom? That's innocent? Get the out of my face. That's innocent? Hey, hey, calm down. You've been gone. It's been weird. Yeah. All right, I admit that. But why is this? Talk why? Get this right now. Get the way right now. Get her. I can't breathe. Coming up, the conclusion. Get the way right now. Get her. I can't breathe. You all right? Where's her, where's her breather? I don't have it, it's in my, it's in my car. This is ridiculous. He's getting the inhaler. Do you Why? have an explanation for what you've been There's not an explanation. Doing? Nothing is going on. Josh and I are friends, this is my boyfriend. Uh-huh, and is that why, is that why you told him tonight you're gonna be out with your girlfriends? Yes. You all right? Get out of here, no, guys. Get out of here. For real, we've been friends since we were like two. Stop. You've got well, to get a grip. Well, that's why it doesn't make any sense, get does it? Get a grip. Josh, what made you think it was OK to start a relationship with his girlfriend? Start with her. She started it with you? Different. How is it different? Not what the? He is my best friend. I know. I'm sorry, baby. I'm so sorry, baby. He's my best friend. I love you. I know. I'm sorry, OK? Talk to me. What? What? It's not. It's not like you think it is. Give me a good explanation. Why, of all people, please? No. I figured you understand where I'm coming from. Are you kidding me? No. Are you kidding me? No. We were wrong. But your feelings. We know we were wrong. We were wrong. We know that. Okay, but you see now what he's dealing with is you betrayed him, and so did his best friend. Okay. We understand that. Bad situation. We were wrong. I think we've got that out of the way. No, get the hand off, you guys. Hey, security. No. Stand off to them. Talk to me about this. Get off of me. Just don't talk to me about this. Don't touch me. Why, dog? Why? You know, I never mean to hurt you like that. Then why? Why her? Can we go somewhere else? This is retarded. We need to get out of here. This is stupid. Get a grip. Get a grip. I don't feel good. I need to get out of here. I don't even know what to say to you guys. I need to just walk. Do you want to come back with us? Yes. All right. I want to get out of here. Okay. Hang on. David. You all right? Yeah. You want to give her a ride? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Can you get out? You need any help? What? You need any help? Or you're alright? Where do I go? Alright guys. I'm so sorry. I we have a lot to work out, okay? I know that. Yeah. But you gotta you gotta forgive me. You know we have so much. I love you, baby. I love you too, baby. We know that. After the confrontation, David reveals that he'll need to better understand the situation before making any further decisions. At the end of the show, Cheaters discloses his final choice in this life-altering event. But next, Cheaters presents Marcy McRae, 
a stern individual who does not hold back when expressing her opinions concerning the John Chapin case. Marcy McRae, age 29. Marcy gives her take as a participant in the John Chapin case and offers cheaters a little piece of her mind. When the crew first came up on us, I had absolutely no crew, clue what was even happening. I mean, it just completely caught me off guard and infuriated me and, you know, I had just absolutely no idea what was happening. Get her in the car. All right, we're here. All right, let me come get you. Come on, John. What the f is this? Then I see John standing there, and I did nothing more than want to slap the shit out of him for even dragging me out like that. I mean, and Joey, what the hell is that all about? I mean, who's this guy to get in my face and question my morality and everything else? That little bitch can kiss my ass. Marcy? Uh, yeah? Could you explain to John what you're doing in, in the parking lot? Explain to John what you're doing yeah, in the parking easily. lot. Yeah, easily. You, dude. What it's is that, that mother... That. How old are you, 50? Okay, f you for talking to him like that. Are you your gun? No, you. Basically, John is nothing but a whiny sniveling baby. I mean, he's just an enormous pain in my ass. I just cannot stand the fact that that little bastard is still running around breathing. I mean, how dare he invade my space like he did? He had no business confronting me that way. Great, that's great. Marcy, you feel like a man right now? Yeah, I you feel, feel like, like a man right now, damn do straight. you? Well, at least he's standing up for himself. Okay, you what? could not I don't do, need your bitch you know, ass in my face. Oh, really? So, yeah, you know, really. It's gonna be in your really? face. Really? Because oh, all okay. you have to do is... You know, <laughs> Oh, look at you! If I were in the same situation again, I'd do the same damn thing. Nobody's gonna stop me from being me and doing what I want to do and getting what I want. And what I want is to be in control of almost every situation that there is. And if you're not willing to come along with that plan, then I don't need you. Okay, you there I this, am. This I'm about the whole you thing. don't know. If no. Hey, but you're okay. fine with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're what? sleeping with her, you're hanging out in a parking lot with her, you making out? Uh-huh. Hey, I, I feel blessed. You very much. That's cool, whatever it is. Forgiveness, because I've been saved by Jesus, so you. John, I'm absolutely not sorry about anything that took place, and I hope you learned your lesson. You should never mess with a woman who's after what she wants. You'll only get in her way. Maybe one day you'll find somebody that'll make you happy, but I highly doubt it because you're just a weasley little bitch. See? No, I don't have to say to you. No explanation? And I don't care if you kick my ass out. It does not bother me in the least. Consider I don't yourself need gone. You. What are you going to stay? Where are you going to live? It's kind of funny, man. You know what I'm saying? You shut it's... the up. Sorry, I'm just here. You're just They're as much a oh. part of this. She's playing is. you, and she's playing him. Hey, that's fine. All I really want to say is, is I'm not sorry for what I did. I have absolutely no remorse about being caught. I'm not even bothered by the fact that I got caught. In fact, I think it was a good thing. It had to show everybody what was really going on. And like I said, John is not the most innocent person on the planet. So I did what I had to do. So everybody, take heed. For more information on these and other cases, log on to Cheaters.com. After the confrontation, David Hendrick supplied cheaters with some information about his girlfriend that could help explain her execrable actions. David says that Megan, through no fault of her own, suffers from an addiction to sex, resulting from a complete lack of love and support from her neglectful father. Still, David is not sure if he can excuse her poor behavior since he's a big believer in not transferring childhood problems into adulthood. When asked about companion Lovejack, David angrily replied, I do not want to talk about him, and I will never be friends with a guy who's willing to backstab a buddy. Megan Wills confirms that she and David can get over this and will eventually move on as boyfriend and girlfriend. She states that David is understandably very upset. She will allow him the space he needs to recover. She says that David will undoubtedly be back in her life in the near future. For his part, Josh Lovejack says that he hopes David can forgive him and knows now that you just don't mess around with a good buddy's girlfriend. He emphatically states that he will no longer be seeing Miss Wills and hopes that his friendship with David will resume one day. <laughs>